Thanks, your man, Andrew Wood, back here. And today I went by the Newport News Goodwill, the Yorktown Goodwill, and the Bargain Box. Bargain Box was a bust, didn't find anything there. But uh, at the Newport News Goodwill uh, and the Yorktown Goodwill, I found some stuff. Now, recently I had some people on there contacting me about trading. And I never really thought about YouTube for a place for trading. I've traded other things, not ever toys, but other items and other places on the net I've been trading and selling stuff on the net since 2002 so it's not something I'm wholly unfamiliar with but it was a, it just surprised me a little bit when uh, some of the people contacted me for trading toys um, I guess I'm okay with it I probably only trade people in the United States because shipping just gets so astronomical and I would only really be interested in trading people uh, I guess I, I might trade you stuff if um, if you sent first but uh, you know the people people that are making if you're making like a bunch of videos your whole channel I don't mind sending at the same time you know even if I've never traded before that you know if you have a whole channel that's pretty much enough credentials right there I'm not gonna expect somebody to to you know be, be a ripoff and of course all these toys that I buy some things I buy I've started slowly buying a few things to try to resell them but most of the stuff I buy I, I just buy for my son the toys he plays with I am not a collector um you know so if you have like very specific questions I will not be able to answer them. I had somebody contact me with a the question a day uh, that was very specific and uh, good enough to ask specific questions, but I just I just almost guarantee I won't be able to answer any of them. Um, I picked these up this this lot of toys at the Newport News Google for three dollars and a quarter. They're kind of neat because uh, you can you can say you have Thor here, but you can pull them into two pieces, and that's how it naturally comes. In fact, they were all in halves in the bag and you could take thing and put thing and Thor together or, or any of them you know they all fit on each other I thought this was uh, kind of nice uh, toys um, I basically bought them though to, to, to trade them or to resell them uh, if uh, my collection I'll give you first uh, crack if you want the spider-man Wolverine and the trade we're gonna do uh, I can throw those in um, or even if you want all of them, because they can be mixed and matched. So just let me know. Also, I picked up uh, a couple of the toys together. I got uh, Velma from Scooby Doo. The kid has a Shaggy and a, I think a couple Scooby Doo's. So I got her. I got uh, this Lego man. He kind of looks like a speed racer. Lego. I know they have Legos for just about everything now. Um. Got him, and he's kind of interesting because he's not a, uh, he's not like Simpsons colored out, you know, yellow. But he's actually like uh, uh, about the same skin tone as I am. Uh, one of the characters, sort of a peach skin tone, like for for a white character, which is, is kind of interesting. Cause typically, you know, the Lego men are, are like yellow. Um, got Popeye. Um, his fists close up. His wrist turn. Actually, a pretty decent toy. I always liked Popeye when I was a kid. Particularly the really old Popeyes that are just like, just just really crazy. Um, so I definitely wanted my son to have a Popeye. I found, um, I forgot to show it. I should have been on my last video. But I found when I went to that same uh, flea market. I don't think I should anyway. Uh, the Cat in the Hat comes back. I got this for 50 cents. It is a little bit beat up. And I wouldn't have bought it otherwise if it wasn't uh, one of the three or four books uh, I was looking for for my kid. You copy where the wild things are too, but uh, the cat in the hat comes back. I was I was glad to get it for fifty cent, as uh, he loves cat in the hat. So anyone out there that has kids, you'll know you read the same book so much. And I have like a library for my son, but still he always wants the same stuff, you know. So getting the cat in the hat part two uh, is 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 nice. Um, speaking of nice things, I found this. It's the uh, Slinky Dog. This is from nineteen ninety nine. I. I don't know if that's Toy Story 1 or 2. I can't really remember dates on them. Um, it's like, you know, it's the full one. It has wheels on the bottom of the feet. So you take this little thing and pull it and it'll go. I paid a dollar twenty-five for this. I was really happy to see that. He has a big collection of uh, Toy Story toys. I got him like big woodies, big buzzes, a ton of stuff. I don't have the T-Rex one. That's the only one that I, I really need. But I got a lot of the minor characters. Uh, Jesse... Um, but all he had was like really little slingy dogs. So when I saw that, at all our court was awesome. So it's kind of funny. I we were actually leaving. We we're like going out the door, and uh, my son kind of ran away from me, which is he's his wanting to do. And as I turned around, I saw that they were pulling a whole other 
uh, cart out, and that, that's where I found that sling dog and the next one I'm going to show you. I found, found both of them in there, so that's pretty cool. Um, next is this Batman. I paid two twenty-five dollars He's very large, uh, horrible with heights, but he's at least a foot tall. He's got like a cape wings gimmick here, and uh, I'm trying to figure out how to work him, but I just figured out just now that apparently if you, if you turn on that, like this little cape thing he has down here will go back in there. I think it's wings that pop out. But I really suck at playing toys, so I can never get the things to, to, to go right. Um, Transformers are the worst at all. I just, I just completely give up on those. Uh, but you can see he's, he's quite large. Um, my son was real happy to get that. And uh, it's a, ni a nice Batman there. I'm going to try to figure out how to stand him up. He, yeah, it looks like he does. So, anyway, I put him down like that. Um, And I also got uh, got that same Google for three twenty five, which I thought was a really great deal. I got this Spider Man, and you know, I don't know um, my collection if I'd even be willing to come off this. My kid does like it. Definitely had to be something sweet in that pot. I know there are a couple things you don't want to come off of, and uh, you know, maybe if there's a renegotiated, that could go in there. Now, why it's so sweet is hey, it lights up. Superhero? Target it, practice time. Eat web. It's just like a ton Find of stuff. Uh, it ejects. It'll say actually even more things. As you can see it fires. Fires of webs and it says a lot of stuff. It's also quite tall. Um, I don't know heights very well. It's probably probably at least close to a foot, I would say. I got this. This is going to take a little bit of explaining, I think. Um, I don't... If anyone, first of all, knows anything more about this, that would be awesome, because I... Like I said, I suck with toys, and I'm just trying to figure out like which way is right and and everything about it. It is um, some kind of Batman playset. It is like it's got all kind. It looks like it has like everything in it too. Like you can see, like there's a little gimmick back here. Um, I don't know how to get that out, but you got like this thing, and you know this thing opens up, and uh, down here, you know, it's, it looks like a jail cell or something. Um, so it's very cool. Like it's got like a this whole deal that comes out. It's a ton of stuff. And it transforms and I don't think there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. But it transforms back into like a Batmobile like a, from from the movie. Um, if I don't, I'm sorry, I had to take it off the camera. It's only way I don't have a, uh, you know what, it's got so much, I got so many of the other parts out but here I'll just uh, well, I don't even know but here I, I it's not really transformed back. Um, it's probably going to take me a couple of minutes to get this. Like I said, I suck with these things. But it'll turn right back into a Batmobile. And it's really cool. I paid two and a quarter for it, probably because the people that are pricing it were just as confused and helpless at using it as I am. Or perhaps even more so. So I can at least figure out it, it transformed. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So, uh, you know, guys, let me know what you think of the thrift store finds here. And thanks for watching.